We're setting out on a cross-country trip from Tampa, Florida to Baja, Mexico, and things are not going so smoothly. Our back wall is broken. He means it's likely to fall off. We just have water pouring in. Somebody just flagged us down. I don't know what's going on. Oh my I'm gosh. So We're trying to make it there in less than three weeks. So let's go. It's early and we're getting ready to leave Tampa, Florida this morning to head to Mariana, Florida, which is our first stop on our long journey from Tampa, Florida to the Baja Peninsula. We have a tight schedule to keep. And our back wall is broken, so I have to fix that before we can really even go anywhere. And Good by times. our back wall being broken, he means it's likely to fall off our RV on the bumpy roads in Mexico if we don't fix it. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to get to Mariana early today so that hopefully we can fix everything and still be on the road tomorrow to go to our next spot. Yes, yeah, so we are crunched for time right now. Wish us luck. We just stopped to fill up, but diesel was like a dollar more than yeah, everywhere so. else. <laughs> so we only got a little bit to last us for a little while. But, you know, Craig made up for our potential savings by buying two bags of pecan, pecans, 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 pecans. How do you say it? Let me know in the comments. These buttercream ones, I'm pretty excited about. No, oh, Ma Maverick's trying to try the pe <laughs> pecans too. Okay, these things were like $12 a bag. Oh, it's really, oh, it's really good. We're staying here in Mariana, mostly because we wanted to see Craig's parents before we head off to Baja, and also because it is right next to a Lowe's, so we're hoping to be able to get all the supplies we need to fix this back wall issue and head out super early tomorrow morning for a really, really long drive day. We're trying to only drive on the weekend so I can still work during the week and get to Baja in less than three weeks. We're on the way to Lowe's now uh, to fix our back wall. I guess when they built the RV, they drilled holes in our aluminum framing for the back wall to run the tail light wires and I guess running light wires through the hole. Well, the framing broke at the hole, so there's nothing structural to hold the bottom of the wall, back wall, to the rest of the RV. So now it kind of shakes back and forth and we're worried about it possibly breaking screws and the wall falling off. So we're at Lowe's to figure something out. Work. And then we need washers, something like this. I don't think we really got anything to screw it to the floor. It started raining as soon as we got back, of course, but we've got the awning out and it has gotten started. It's starting to rain so hard and it's flooding. So we're going to run a piece of aluminum L bracket on the inside attaching it to the floor and the wall and then we're going to attach an aluminum flat bar across the outside wall and drill holes through each and run bolts all the way down and that should bring everything together and it rests on the floor. We just have water pouring in through somewhere. Oh great. Like where? Not from up there. Why don't we buy one while I was at the RV show? I don't know. Oh my awesome. gosh. So 
Ironically, I'm about to put on a poncho that has the logo of the RV I wish I had to stand in the rain and fix the RV that I do have. Just finished the wall for the most part. I think it went pretty good. I gotta finish the inside, but it looks like it's in the hole, at least until we're ready to get rid of this thing. And my door won't shut. <laughs> I'm hoping the leaky window had something to do with the gutter full of debris. I cleaned it out and it's not leaking anymore, so I don't know if it was going over the gutter and coming down the wall on the inside. We'll have to check that out, probably replace the seal in it just to be safe. I think we're good to go now for a little bit longer. <laughs> The big cup is for Craig because we're driving like eight or nine hours today. It is so early, five something in the morning. We have so far to go. We're supposed to be going to Rutherford Beach was the original plan in Louisiana. I just discovered it was so far from I-10, like an hour and it didn't look that far on the map. So now I'm considering some spots closer to I-10 so that when we head out next weekend, it we're just a little bit closer to the interstate to get back on the road. So we'll see where we end up on travel days i usually do the inside stuff while craig does all the outside stuff our goal is to be boondocking on our way to baja um, so we're not having to pay for expensive overnight campground fees we also have to consider how much driving we're gonna have to do like if we have to go into town or something and do laundry which we definitely need to do if we're staying at a boondocking spot that's like an hour away from a town Okay, I think I have everything done inside. Let's go see if Craig needs help outside. How's it going out here? Hands are wet, cold, and dirty. And it's still dark. All right. First stop of our long drive day, we're at this travel center that looks pretty interesting. The door is like a, a fan anyways. We're across the road also from Shelton Fireworks, which seems like a sign that we need to get fireworks. If you didn't know, our last name is Shelton. I think we are in Alabama. We are not gonna go to the beach, even though that would be much more interesting. We're just gonna go to a little county park that is in Texas, right by the interstate. awful. <laughs> the roads are really bad. I don't think they've put any money in these roads in 50 years. Somebody just flagged us down to say, well they didn't say anything yet, but they clearly were telling us to pull over and I don't know why. I guess we'll see. I don't know what's going on. I saw Craig What's going on? What happened? Our underbelly fell down. <laughs> Great. Okay, well that's actually not that bad. No, I'm just worried about our ducks though, because they're exposed oh. now. How far is that thing? Gas station? A couple miles. Right there. The Love's travel stop we were trying to go to was only like a mile up the road, so we're here getting fuel, which is why we were coming here. And then I don't know what, I don't know how we're going to 
fix the underbelly situation yet. It's just kind of a big hole underneath the RV now. It used to be covered up by a piece of plastic that went up in here. I don't know what happened. It fell and got ripped. That was some expensive duct tape. $14.39 for this roll. The plan is to use this wide load banner in combination with duct tape, ratchet straps, and bolts to secure the dropped part up and hopefully close the gap so wind doesn't get in. I think this one pulled out so I it broke. It's good enough for now, I guess. Yeah, this is totally gonna work. It only has to last for a few hours, though. Yeah. made it to our spot here at, I'm gonna butcher this, Fort Anahuac in Texas. And it's a free camping spot. You can stay here for up to three days as long as you call the office and get a permit, which they'll email you and look at it. It is very pretty. I think I drove eight or nine hours. That's too much. It's a lot. And it's cold in Texas. The weather has turned insane today. Yesterday we got here and it was so pretty. <laughs> today it looks like a dang hurricane is coming through. There are tornado watches and I don't know, it's getting pretty crazy out here. I guess we could run in here. That's, it. That's what I was thinking. It's at least concrete. So it's been pretty stormy today and I've been watching the water because we parked right next to the water. It's not too bad yet, but it is getting worse. And I don't know when too late is too late, but it, the water hasn't got to us yet. I just and keep... there's a tornado warning nearby. I think once the water starts to cross the road, like there's like a good little crossing of water, we should leave then, if not before. But I don't want to have to move if I don't have to. So I'm gonna just keep watching it and hopefully we can get out of the wet, muddy grass. You can see the water outside the RV. Uh, we, we parked right in front of it and there was like at least 15 more feet of ground. So that's, that's a little concerning, but let's see. So the water's definitely coming closer. It's coming from the river. The tide, it's like three o'clock now and the tide's supposed to stop coming in at like 4.30. It's coming in pretty quick, but if it stops soon, then we'll be fine and we won't have to move which i don't really want to move because it's a lot of work and then we have to find somewhere else to go it's also extremely windy so i'm like maybe it'll blow the rv over <laughs> maybe but, it'll blow the rv over that would be terrible also if we total the rv though that's that's kind of nice in itself i guess we do have insurance all it has to do is fall over you know and it's probably totaled i'd assume <laughs> i don't understand his thought process <laughs> We're gonna end up in the dang marsh I with just, the alligators. Apparently, Fort Anahuac, or however you say this place, it's the alligator capital of the world. And it's raining now. Yeah. Pretty hard. Mm. To move or not to move? That's the question. I gum it. I don't want to have to go out there and do all this. Well, what happens if the water makes it to us? I don't know, not much. As long as it can dry up before we try to move again? Yeah, I think we might would actually be fine. Uh, we'll just sit it out. <laughs> Maybe to total it. Stop with the totaling it. I don't know. I, it's, it's raining so hard now, and I can't see, like, in the distance for a potential tornado because of the way it's raining. You poor dogs. Leland's so scared. Any more tornado warnings? That's just what we're going through right now, that's all. Lovely. 
Now that the storm has passed and we didn't get taken away by a tornado, we're gonna run a few errands and probably about to have the most beautiful sunset. Check out this sky. So we're taking down the temporary fence that we put up when we're on our way here. We're gonna install this corrugated plastic, which that's what I've already had on the bottom. Just the other one I think messed up and uh, ended up coming untucked back here and dragging on the road and eventually ripped off. I'm gonna replace the broken one and put this one on for a more permanent solution. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it done here pretty soon. tired. It's cold. I hate this camper. But I think I got it done. We're on the way to New Mexico and it's going to take us two drive days to get there. We're stopping overnight at a truck stop tonight. So hoping all goes well. Honestly, hoping that this drive is a little more boring than the last few drives we've had because I could, you know, enjoy things not breaking for a few minutes. That would be nice. Yeah, I agree. This thing, 53 minutes of delay now. 53? That was 30. I changed. <laughs> Golly. This traffic is backed up so bad that the faster route from Garmin includes us getting off the interstate and going the opposite way than where we're supposed to be going. This stupid detour. We're not even going. There's no way that this detour was faster than the original route. Like we're literally stopping and going on the highway. It, it makes no sense. I don't know why it would have rerouted us this way. So we finally made it to the truck stop that we're trying to get to two hours later than what we're supposed to be here, which thanks to San Antonio. I don't have any plans of going back there anytime soon. That was a nightmare. Now we're gonna go eat some Indian food that's at a restaurant attached to the truck stop. So good luck to that's us. Good. <laughs> Let's see how it is. It's burning my finger right now. There's so many flavors. Burn the cheesecake. Let's try this guy. So we're leaving the truck stop that we stayed at overnight. It was uh, it was not bad. It's very loud at truck stops. I guess we got the job done. We're on our way to Las Cruces. If you've liked our journey so far, click the subscribe button and follow us. But until next time, we'll see you later. Would you like to eat the microphone, Maverick? Is everything a snack for you? Uh,